you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe. And if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. It's 629. It's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A Train. What you got? You got more stupid news, Train, or little, what? Yeah, a little stupid news hangover, you know. Uh, I got my uh, Forest Ranger Train hat on today because uh, out in California, you know, uh, there was a big story. You're going to see it everywhere. A woman uh, goes out in her backyard, yeah. and uh, there's a California brown bear that was picking up its doll with her dog. Uh-oh. Uh, so, of course, it was a mama bear thing, you know. The uh, the brown bear was oh. afraid the dog was going to attack the cub, so oh. she and she attacked the dog. So the woman runs out, and this uh, this bear was on a wall, and like an uh, offensive lineman, she pushes the bear off the wall oh. and saves the dog, drops the dog. Everything's fine. Everybody's fine. Oh. But uh, just a little uh, forest ranger train thing. Wow. You know, we get more and more. You see bear reports around here. Yep. You know, we've got the, uh, the, the, you know, the American black bear. Just leave them alone. Don't, if you, you know, and they're yeah, not, uh, they're yeah, not going to attack, but the, they're not going to attack your dog. If they are attacking your dog. I, and, and they're standing on a wall. Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, guess. I don't I, know. If they are, if they were attacking my dog, yeah. I would try and beat the stuffing out of the bear <laughs> to get it away from my dog. Okay. That's what I would do because would, that's my that's my yeah. furry that's my four legged furry kid right uh-huh, there you yeah. know so get off okay that's what I would do I don't know I don't know if New Hampshire fishing game would agree but you know uh, I just generally speaking you're not gonna our, stand there and watch it happen yeah. you'd be no generally speaking you know you probably want to stay away but that's okay yeah. <laughs> Just a, just a matter of personal choice, I guess. Also, uh, it's this a good death. What movie? I'm sorry, I'm interrupting that? you. What was the movie that at the end? I think it was Legends of the Fall with Brad Pitt. Not that I watched that a thousand times because I love Brad Pitt, but I remember at the end he died of. Well, I'm ruining the end for you, FYI. He died of a bear attack. Oh, and one of the last lines was, "It was a good death." Oh. Let me tell you something. If I have a fight with a bear and that's how I go out, I'm going to be okay with that. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? That, yeah. You had a fight with a bear. That's how she died. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's so much better than, you know, some other death yeah. situation. That's true. Talk about <laughs> We just played Blaze of Glory. Going down yeah. in a Blaze of Bear Glory. Yeah. There we go. Uh, also, uh, locally, the the beautiful basking shark yes. is having a great oh. year, and they're uh, everywhere. Yep. The thing is, they're 29 feet long. They go up to about 12,000 pounds, literally. I'm not ex- exaggerating. These no, things, they're they, humongous. their mouths... Uh, it looks like they could swallow a Hyundai Elantra. Yeah, you know that they're, they're. It's like a garage door size mouth, uh, and people have been freaking out, thinking that the megalodon is. You know the the, the movie Megalodon, that yes. gigantic shark. But they're they eat plankton. They are plankton eating. Yeah, they uh, do. But what? See, I have another butt situation uh-oh. here, Trade. Okay. What if you see one of those sharks in the water? You in your swimming, you could absolutely fit in their mouth. Oh man. Yeah, they, like five they, ten people could fit in yeah. their mouth. No, seriously, their mouth is like it looks like a garage. It does. They open their mouth; it's like a garage door opening. It's yeah. they're unbelievable. So but I, yeah, they gotta I, they gotta get all that plankton in there. Yeah, somehow. I don't care if they eat plankton or. So, I mean, <laughs> do they spit you out if by <laughs> yeah. accident? Yeah, they don't eat anything uh, larger than plankton. Oh. They're completely so just you know. This was the scariest stupid news of Forest is. Ranger trade I think we've ever had. <laughs> I think so. I agree. <laughs> I'm never going in the water, and I'm keeping all my dogs inside. Yes. <laughs> Went to go see our friend Kevin yesterday, Train. Yes. He says, hello, by the way. Hello, Kevin. He is our uh, hair and lifestyle correspondent. Yes. Every great show has one. He's ours. <laughs> Kevin from McGunquit. Uh, Kennebunk, actually. Kennebunk, yes. that's yes, right. His yes. uh, indigo yes. uh, salon Kennebunk. for hair is in Ken- Kennebunk. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Because I have a wedding. This is a, this is a big, big month for weddings um it's a shark morning show by the way with uh, sarah and a train and this saturday i am uh not only am i part of the wedding i'm officiating the wedding that you wouldn't believe it i mean i get nervous for just regular weddings you know i would be afraid that my stomach would be growling or something like that <laughs> you're running the show <laughs> well you know i don't know about running the show but it, it's very easy to become ordained you just Become ordained, the Universalist Life Church online. And I had such little faith in what I was doing online. 
I, th- I thought, you know, kids, if you're going <laughs> to, you yeah. might have to make this stuff legal. I'm not sure. Okay. But anyway, 10% of all mar- marriages are taking place in the month of June. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a huge wedding month. Mm-hmm. August is another big, big month. But the average cost of a wedding gown is $800. Oh, which I thought oh, was extremely low. That's uh, yeah. People are getting good prices. Yeah, right? I, I would. I would think. I almost wonder if what you got are you know like hand me downs. You know, you yes. wear, wear your mom's, or wear your grandmother's, or something, mm-hmm. and that's what's uh, you know, yeah, mixing the, the in average, right? Yeah. right, right. So you go from free to the gowns that we see on say yes to the dress. Yes. You know, which, which aren't those thousands of dollars. Yeah. I mean, what, what's the ballpark on those? Uh, you know, 16 grand, 20 no, grand. No, that's humongous. That is wow. Okay. They that's get too much. really excited when you, they have a dress. that's $20,000. I'm going to say like, I watch the show a lot, maybe like three, four, five, six thousand. Okay. Sometimes 10000 okay. on a wedding dress, which I just think that's way too much yeah. money. But hey, whatever, rock on. If you've got it, you know, you might as well. Yep. But bridesmaids gowns are, um, they're about, a, they average $100 for a bridesmaids. Okay. Yep. Oh, wow. And about a third of all engaged couples get a wedding consultant. Okay. Which, that's you that's know. not a planner? That's somebody yeah, else? That, no, that's oh, a planner. that is a planner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Takes care of everything from A to Z. Which okay. David tells me that I should be a wedding if if I don't want to do radio anymore, I should be a wedding consultant. Ah, I mean, do you think I could do that, Shane? I don't know. That'd be that sounds to, for me like I don't even uh, you know we have friends uh, that that do weddings for, the, for DJing. Yes, it's just so intense. It is intense. That's, that's very very. It's the most intense thing that there I is. I know. What if it's I mess up? High high drama. It lot, is. Lots of pressure for just one one day. You can't, you can't go back and do something over again. No. What know? if the bride's father is like has a peanut allergy or whatever, and I put something peanut butter on the buffet table or whatever? Oh. That's going to be terrible. Yes. <laughs> that, that, would, that would be awful. I don't need that kind of pressure <laughs> yeah. in my life. I just want to sit here and play records. Yeah, I know. We've got Genesis and NXS <laughs> on the way next on the shark. <laughs> Cuteness is undeniable. Oh, my Coco, goodness. Our shark's pet of the month for June. If you haven't seen him yet, oh, man, he's a three-month-old uh, lab, Weimaraner or mix. He looks like a lab to me. Yeah, there's no, what is that? What is the that? Weimar honor it's is a humongous a, dog, right? Uh, it it actually yeah it fought uh, like it, it hunted 